We all love a good fail, but not when the one failing is the company developing a video game that you're looking forward to. Here's my top 10 list of video game flops from the last decade. Games that promised one thing and then turned around and delivered a piece of crap. Number one, No Man's Sky. Released in 2016, No Man's Sky promised the impossible when it was revealed to the world. It promised a spontaneously generated galaxy with many undiscovered planets and solar systems to explore. One of the biggest promises made was that this game would be run on an online server and that you would randomly come across other players in the galaxy as everyone attempted to discover the center of the galaxy. Within a very short amount of time, players started to piece together that this wasn't actually happening no one was running into each other almost as if the game didn't have an online server guess what it didn't just take this clip for example we were completely and utterly lied to about it will you be able to play with your friends yeah 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 can you grief other players <laughs> a little bit and on top of this, the game's redundant generated system would consistently generate planets with nothing on them and nothing to do. Wow, fun. And then of course there's this. The fans were wildly disappointed, the sales plummeted, and No Man's Sky and its developers were eaten alive on social media. I almost felt bad for them. Over the years, the developers eventually delivered on all that was promised, along with some really awesome free updates, but it was never able to win back most of its original fans. Number 2. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Released in 2017, this fighting game brought together characters from the Marvel Universe and Capcom. Sounds like an instant classic, right? Unfortunately, the developers were too focused on taking advantage of all the hype around Avengers with the release of Infinity War, and they rushed the game with dollar signs on their minds. Unfortunately, the art style and graphics fell short of everyone's expectations, as well many of the characters were only playable if purchased separately. Needless to say, it was a massive flop that was rushed and clearly only had sales on the agenda. Number 3. Umbrella Corpse Released in 2016, Umbrella Corpse was riding the wave of the Resident Evil franchise success, but for some reason did not stay true to the franchise and released a game that was nothing like the Resident Evil games. In return, the fans were not impressed to say the least. Number 4. Cyberpunk 2077 Released in 2020, Cyberpunk was one of the most anticipated games of our generation, but will go down as the biggest failure in gaming in recent history. The game itself was gorgeous, and if the product was playable, it would have been a massive success. Unfortunately, that was not the case. Cyberpunk was released on all current platforms, however, on console, the game was completely unplayable. There were an incredible amount of technical errors and graphical glitches that rendered the game unplayable, leading to many players demanding a refund. This led to an extremely rare occurrence. PlayStation actually removed the game from its digital store. Ouch. Number 5. Fallout 76 Released in 2018, Bethesda, the leading company in the RPG genre, released the highly anticipated Fallout 76. In an attempt to stay relevant in the gaming world, they moved into an online experience. Now, at first glance, this sounds awesome, but Bethesda's experience making games was exclusively single-player based. This experiment was bound to flop. The Fallout franchise experience was always an isolated character waking up in a post-apocalyptic world not being able to trust anyone. Taking the franchise to an online experience led to the game not even feeling like a Fallout game. And to make matters worse, when the game launched, there was almost nothing to do. Almost no missions, minimal exploration, few options. For a franchise praised for its depth and detail, Fallout 76 was an apocalyptic failure. Halfway through, guys. Okay, do me a quick favor. And um, if you just look at the bottom of your screen, right, it's right down there. Just um, like it's like a thumbs up. Just go ahead and click that thing for me. Number six, Assassin's Creed Unity. When the game was released in 2014, the internet became flooded by GIFs and videos making fun of the game's numerous visual problems, and there were a lot. Assassin's Creed has always been a unique experience unlike any other, and was a lot of fun to play, but when a game releases with a plethora of bugs and glitches, it just looks bad, and it caused the game to plummet in the reviews. 
Number seven, Paragon. In 2016, Paragon was developed and released to compete with the highly successful and unique online shooter, Overwatch. And it created a lot of anticipation and buzz. Unfortunately, when it released, it captivated and excited almost no one. Within two years of being released, the servers were shut down, meaning the game is no longer sold and can no longer be played. Big rip. Number eight, Overkill's The Walking Dead. After a series of poor decisions by Overkill, the game was released in 2018 and completely massacred by the public. The gameplay was horrible, the story didn't even fit The Walking Dead, and even the zombies were running. The game was shortly after cancelled and removed from stores. Number 9, Marvel's Avengers. The much anticipated game was showcased at E3 and released in 2020. The showcase looked so promising, but the reality was a completely different story. The gameplay was horrendous, no variety on enemies or combat, everything required a crazy amount of grinding, all for an end experience that felt exhausting and anticlimactic. Not to mention the graphics were way less appealing in the final product than they were at the showcase. Too bad, because I was really looking forward to ripping around the city as Iron Man. And finally, number 10, Anthem. When showcased at E3, this game turned everyone's heads, and it gained a massive amount of hype as the game looked more detailed, dynamic, and cinematic than anything we had ever seen. The gameplay looked extraordinary, especially for such a vast, detailed open world, and it left gamers craving the first time that they would step into that Iron Man-like suit and take flight. Unfortunately, when the game released in 2019, the gaming community was outraged. We were promised a beautiful masterpiece, and we got a dumpster fire with a much less detailed, dialed down open world with nothing to do. Basically, we had been baited and hooked to a false advertisement promise that fell so short of its delivery, it didn't even look like the same game. The internet exploded with videos of comparisons, eventually leading to the project being completely abandoned by the developer. So much disappointment with this one. All right, that wraps it up, guys. What do you think? Was there any games on this list that left a sour taste in your mouth? And were there any games that you think should be on this list? A massive flop in gaming history? Guys, if you are a nerd like I am, and you love video games as much as I do, then you're in the right place. Hit that sub button. I got lots of content coming your way. Until next time, remember we're not gamers because we have no lives, but because we choose to have many. Cheers. Cheers.